discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Alchemist and its newest expansion, The King's Golem. Um, okay, so I, uh, there's actually a lot to talk about here. So first of all, um, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead and talk about the expansion. What do you guys think about the expansion? We played it last time with all of the shit, and then this time with just the biggest, fuck, the biggest part of it. So what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. think? After explaining it <laughs> on how... On um, you should really pay attention to the golem because I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, and that was what cost me the win, really. Like, that yeah. Honestly, yeah. if I would have paid attention and got the golem, I could have at least been closer to winning. You actually would have won yeah. had uh, I not focused on the golem. And that's the thing, that's uh, pretty much my biggest complaint with it, was you have to focus on that. Mm -hmm. Like, what was it? it? That's 8 points plus 5, so that's 13 points right off the bat. Um, and, I mean, you pretty much have to solely focus on that, and you can dabble a little bit in that. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think the expansion is necessary at all uh, for this game, because of the fact that it just adds more without giving you more actions to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, you're still very limited, but it gives you more spaces to go to, and it's like, no, even one more cube would have been, would have been better, but it actually limits you based on how many people are playing if we were playing with three players, we would have had six actions um, instead. Okay. But with four people, um, it's five actions. And that's to make the board tighter and make your decisions more important. Because Which, because it's like the um, deduction where it's like, oh, I should... How do I want to make points? Should I focus on this mm -hmm. or on the golem? Or, or other other type of methods right. at the same and time? It's like, well, I need gold to be able to do this stuff. I need the gold to publish. If you don't have gold, it's like, okay, well then... I can't get the ingredients, and you're all competing for the same spots. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like if you don't, especially you can totally get card screwed. Like uh, last game, I didn't get crow's foot at all, and I was like, I that's, I need to know what that is. Now, um, with that being said, I also think that's a good thing about the game. I really like the fact that you can't do everything, because if you could do everything, there would be that like, this game would be super easy. Yeah, you know, I'll go pick up stuff. Then I'll sell some. Then I'll sell it to the guy. Then I'll go test on the call. And so the fact that you have to limit it, man, that's hot. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have to limit it um, makes it very interesting. But it's already a tight board without the expansion. And so um, it is a very new and interesting way, a new deduction, besides just getting in. Because literally the base game, you can play the base game, you just get the ingredients and scan it. And that's it. And then you're like, oh, well, it can't be that, that, or that. Um, and, that and that's it. There's no real deduction there um, in the base game. But with this one, you have to be like, okay, how did this react? And what did it react to? And then off the chart, like, this is what my chart ended up, ended up looking like. And the reason I was able to figure out how to animate the golem is because of Kaylee's endorsements. I was, like, sitting there, and I was like, fuck, I don't know what those are. Oh, wait a minute. She really thinks it's that one. I'm going to hedge my bet on that she's right. So, thank you. You actually are the reason I won, because you endorsed so many. That I was like, well, I mean, I don't have it marked out, so she can't. both of us can't be wrong. The golem confused me, so I was like, okay, I'll just focus on publishing theories. That's how I'm going to get all my points, mm -hmm. but I should know. How many points do you get from that? Not like enough. 16? Yeah. 16 points. So you still, like... Without the golem, she would have swept the floor. But you had the golem, so she didn't sweep the floor. And that's yeah, that's a lot of points. Like, I thought it was just four points total, but it's actually, I, that's what I was looking up, it's four points each. Plus, if you animate it, it's five points. Um, they should have made this its own separate game, the golem game, basically, to figure out. Right, right. Because here's the thing, not only do you get, you get um, 13 points if, you, if you're absolutely correct and you animated it. If you were wrong, let's say you were, you did, someone else did that and that, they lose 16 points Ouch. for that. It's eight each. So, I mean, I like it. I really like the Golem expansion. And if you are bored with the base game, then get this. But really only get it for the Golem, because the other three variants in this... Uh, did you guys like any of the other variants? I didn't... Did we even touch it at all? Not, not in this game. The last game we played, it, one of the variants was the different... 
So, I like the different ones. Yeah. The different set of ones. Because it really, because <clears throat> it also like subtle like on what you want to do, what you want to, how you want to go first, or it's like, it's like, oh, if I want to go first, but it's going to cost me to really go first. Or, That's true. It costs uh, the seals and stuff. The so, seals, yeah. Oh, yeah. And those were really important for the library, so you didn't want to give them up. Right. It That's was, true. Yeah. Because that was the busy days. It made each round, um, each round different. Um, like, I like that, but I didn't like the fact that you can get points off of that. Like, just being like, all right, but then I guess... Um, because of the way turn order goes, is like, I don't know, I don't know. I, I probably have to play with it again, because last time we combined all of these and it was like, what? Um, and then there was the startup funding, which were the four cards you were dealt at the beginning and you got to choose two of them. Mm -hmm. Did you guys like those? And instead of that we don't get the instead of three. Instead of not getting two gold, not starting with three ingredients, um, you, you start with the, uh, you know, the two cards you choose. Two. So you could end up starting with a shit ton of ingredients but no gold, or points, but no ingredients yeah. and stuff like that. I think, I think, I would probably like to look at, like, what are all the options that you mm -hmm. can get, because of the four you get, it's like, oh, I'm stuck to this, what, what did they get? What did they right, get? right. So it's like, like but it, it, I think that could also be a good handicap too, just to play in future hand, because, like, if we were to play again, we're like, oh, let's try it, play again, but differently. Yeah, like, let's uh, try with the, uh, the startup project cards. Um, the thing is, is like, whereas, because you win by reputation, you don't win by favor cards. Mm -hmm. Like, favor cards potentially help you, but not as much as starting with, it could have just been luck that you started with mm -hmm. both of them that gave you, what, six points at the very beginning? But that's six points at the very beginning, and then you just do better on from there. Um, so, I personally don't like the startup funding. Um, the busy days, I have to play with a little bit more, I see why you guys would like it. Um, and then the, uh, Royal Encyclopedia is just, it's basically a new way to get a grant. Uh, we didn't even touch on it last time we played, but what you do is you take, um, they're, they're in the, in the box, but they're basically, uh, tokens with the ingredients on them, the eight ingredients, and you basically decide what sign the different colors are for those ingredients. Like, you basically, you do this like the deduction board, you do that, but on here. And if you get it right, then you get a grant. It's just automatically doing that. You Well, yeah, there's like one grant to take if you get it, and then uh, if you, um, but to, to do that, you uh, need to have the royal seals. So, I don't know. I felt like that, that that's unnecessary to have as well. Um, what do you think? What do you think of all the, uh, you haven't been saying anything? All the expansions. Well, I mean, I kind of put my two cents in earlier. Basically, I don't really, I don't really care much about the other expansions. They're just kind of there. You mean the variants? The, yeah, the vari the other variants. Gotcha. Um, what do you guys think of the use of an app in a board game? That one's fun, unless your phone is dying. <laughs> unless your phone is dying. So, have your phone charged before yeah. you play the game. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it's there's that's been... actually a huge controversy in the, the board game community is a, a lot of people hate it. They hate the fact that apps are thrown in because they're like, no! Like, if then I'm it's like, not a board game! Yeah, exactly. It makes and, it easier though. And yeah, oh yeah, makes it easier. Makes Because there's a way, there's a way you can play this game without the app. Yeah. And, it's, uh, and what it is, is you have this chart in, in a nutshell, and you take um, basically, it's, it's basically a chart but with these already kind of set up and you have these as tiles, and you shuffle those and place them in. And literally one person sits here, and as you guys, I'm going to combine toad and uh, flower, they look at it, oh it gives God. you a positive green. That's the entire, that's the, that's the way you play this wow. game. So one person gets to watch everyone else have fun, while they um, slowly cut their wrists. Mm. <laughs> so... That's, the fact that's that he's stupid. I was about to say that that's something that I would like to do, but then you said slowly cut the wrist, and I was like... <laughs> just the fact that uh, that they even were like, well, if people really don't want it, just don't fucking play the game, or get over it. Like, it's cool. It's cool that there's an that's, app. That just makes it even harder to... Because yeah. to, once you build it, like, alright, I think this is set. You play it. 
Everything is wrong. We have to start all over. We have to redo all that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh great. Oh, uh, yeah. How can I enjoy this game when it's when we're fucking up like this all the time? Yeah. Oh, hey, the app actually uh, has algorithms to do it. Yeah. Just like that. Like that yep. Because human error is yep. a real thing. Because then, then everyone's like, "What if we all don't have phones?" Well, guess what? You can play this with one one phone. Yeah. You just pass it around. Or, put, uh, or yeah, pass. Yeah, it pass around. around or just have it have it readily available. Um. I think this is. I think the base game is really good. You you played the base game. Yeah. Um, like, I I really like it. I think it's cool. I think it's. Uh, I like the art on it as well. It's not like super serious, because um, they could have easily made this like realistic art. But it's bright, colorful, and it's. A, I think it's a simple deduction it's game fun. until you bring the uh, the golem in, where we were like, where? what? Like, I, I do not get this like at this all. Um, yeah, until you put that in. Uh, I like the seals. I really like the library. I think at the the sun the sun moon thing is a really cool way to go and be like, oh, okay, those are all off immediately. Mm -hmm. um, but my biggest complaint is the they add more without giving you maybe one or more, two more actions. So I think it kind of slows the game down um, and makes it even more difficult than it should be. Um, scale of one to ten. Mm -hmm. Me base game. I don't even remember what I said when we were on base game. I, I give it. I guess with the expansion, oh, I give it eight and a half. Eight and a half. Which when I said uh, last time, I would still buy this game and have it for myself. Would you buy the expansion? Oh, that's. <laughs> let's let's put that on a different. Page. Yeah. <laughs> let's play it again, and then we'll decide. No. Yeah, we have time. Um, scale one to ten. Uh, I give it yeah an eight. An eight yeah. with the expansion, or would it go lower with the expansion? Uh, no, I, okay, I'd give it an eight with the expansion. Probably give it like a nine without. The expansion. Okay. okay. Now that I understand it, eight without the expansion. This All right. Be, this used to be one of my least favorite games. Really? That one time I played it, I did. I got like I was so fucking lost that I never wanted to play it again. It was it was after you and I already played and Kat didn't play with us. Like I was so right. lost, I never wanted to play this game. No, again. remember she uh, was tired. She didn't play. I remember we played it together one time, and I thought I I thought I taught you, but I don't think I ever did. Um, yeah, uh, I hmm. I really like the golem. Once, once I figured it out, like I hated the expansion. Whenever I, whenever I was just like, I don't fucking get it. And then once I got it, now I completely get it, and uh, and it ended up helping me win. Um, I'd probably give it an eight without the expansion, and an eight point two <laughs> with the expansion. Because I don't like anything else in the box. Like I don't, I, I could, I don't really care about anything else. The golem is the only thing cool, but it, like I said. It's like, here's more stuff that you won't have time to actually do. Well, if you have the expansion, you have to focus on either that or that, and you have to hope that you either get enough points from this, or you have to hope you're right. going to get enough points from that, so yeah. it's really just like a... It's an either-or thing. Yeah, and which... you have to hope other people aren't focusing on the same thing you're focusing on. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. even... Oh, oh, yeah, you would have... Even if you had gotten both of these right, you would have only been to 48. The fact that... Um, like activating it gives you five points mm -hmm. as well. But I mean, really, if you get both of these, you're gonna activate the golem. Like, right, there'd be no point. No yeah, I got it. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> so, um, or you ran out of time. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, because even if you had followed done exactly what uh, what I did here and get these, you still would have been behind because you wouldn't have gotten the 16 points from that. So yeah, it's an either or thing. Yeah. Um, so I mean. Like I said, if you are bored with the base game, get the expansion. It makes the base game interesting because you don't have to play with this. You can just play with the variable setup and get a, get a new way to play. Um, and if you're bored with the deduction, you have the golem. So it's necessary only if you're bored with the base game. If you're not, which I wasn't, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it. And the replay value is pretty high because there's a fuck ton of papers. <laughs> yes, yeah. They, yeah. Guys, I fucked up. I need, I need another one. Yeah. I fucked up again. I need another no, one. No, we don't have Yeah. Um, that's another thing. Like, I mentioned this in the unboxing, though. Like, I, I like the... They, they, give, they give you a lot. If you run out of this, then you, you're playing you this game. Like this. You really yeah. like this game. And the thing is, it's like, what if I run out? Well, take one, go put it through a... Uh, 
um, laminator um, four times for four people and then do dry erase markers and you're good forever. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, try I'm trying to think. Um, oh, I wish there were more artifacts to to do, more uh, to get more options to get. Um, yeah, mahogany. How many books did you have? Three. Three? Yeah, if you had gotten the mahogany bookcase, that would have been six extra points. So, um, this one's a good one. Boots of Speed. Once an action on an action where you have at least one cube, you can perform that action again after everyone is done. So that's really cool. Yeah, that'd be really useful because there were multiple times I was like, I need to do that. I need I to I sell or or uh, not sell. I need to uh, test these potions because I actually ended up not knowing shit about mandrake, but I was able to guess because of feather. I was like, oh, and that was the only other one that didn't have. Uh, one, so I was like, oh, well, that's available for Mandrake, and but it's not available for Feather, so I was like, that has to be it. So, the first time ever, because we've played this movie, I've played this movie five or six times now, um, the first time ever I used your guys' endorsements to figure out what what it was. So that's this is a new strategy that uh, can be used. Um, anything else? Anything else about this game? Good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that was our thoughts on Alchemist and the expansion. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to help out the channel, I have my Patreon link right there. If you want to make some suggestions on board games you'd like to see us run through, I have my board game geek list right there. And if you want to just, you know, like the Facebook page, I have my Facebook link right there. And have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.